Hello everyone. Hello engineers. Now I will share to you a video on how to estimate the electrical works based on my own experience. But before that, I would like you to ask you a favor to like my Facebook page at Lumina Electrical Design. I am engineer Justino Valero, a registered electrical engineer, graduated from Cebu Institute of Technology University, Batch 2005. I have been in the engineering practice since 2006 as an electrical design engineer for 11 years, mostly in petrochemical plant and offshore projects. I used to run my own contracting business for 5 years and now for more than 2 years, I am involved in warehouse electrical design, technical evaluation, bidding and freelancing in other electrical designing endeavors. I decided to prepare this video when I read some comments from a certain engineering and construction Facebook page. Basically, there are a lot of topics to be discussed, but I choose this topic first because I believe that I can impart my ideas based on my experiences. Usually, when you are into contracting business, after a series of negotiations and initial talks, in commencing the electrical estimation, you've got to ensure that you have the following documents. Architectural plan drawing, electrical plan drawing including cable schedule, electrical specification, bill of quantity or material format, installation detail if available. There are times wherein the client do not submit any of the list especially for small projects. So what you've got to do is to conduct site inspection. Okay, so we will proceed to the methods of estimate. These methods are based on my own experience. The first method is the rough estimate using by area and by points. Now, let's have an example in my latest project. This is a three-story commercial building with a roof deck. This layout came from the client. We have ground floor, second floor, third floor, and a roof deck. So, in a rough estimate by area, we need to know what is the area for the ground floor, the second, third, and the roof deck. I will show you my template. We need the length with a number of story in this example. We have 12 meters length, 6 meters width, and 4 story. Then multiply that. And then for electrical per area, we have 1000 pesos to be used for residential or commercial establishment. If you think 1000 pesos is not enough, then you can change it, change it to 1500 pesos. For now, let's have an example of 1000 pesos per square meter and we have a total of 288,000 for labor and materials. Additional for 12% tax and then we will have an overall total of 322,560. So now, let us proceed to the rough estimate by points. In doing this, we need to count the quantity of electrical device like fixtures, switches, outlet, panel board, etc. In this example, for lighting, we have 89, for switches, 35, for outlet, 98, and the panel, 13. So multiply it by the rate per points. For lighting, switches, and outlet, we have 1,200 pesos. And for the panel, we have 3,000 pesos. Total it then add 12% tax. So we have an overall total of 342,048. And you have an electrical estimate for the labor and materials. So easy, right? Now we will proceed to our next method, the best estimate. For this method, I usually do it in detail counting of all electrical items as per design. You can make your own BOQ template as long there is a description, materials, material cost, labor cost. Now, let's go to my example. 
In this, I have direct cost that contains panels, wires and PVC pipe, lighting fixtures and exhaust fan, devices like outlets, outlets switches, dimmers, accessories. And for indirect cost, I have this item. Your overhead and supervision and 12% 12% tax indicated. Again, you can make your own VOQ template that is comfortable to you. Then lastly, I have the summary. In doing the bill of quantity, counting of all electrical device is easy. We just base on the electrical drawing, but for wires and PVC pipe, I will show you how I did it. In here, I call this cable length measurement. Now let's have an example. In this cable length measurement, I want to measure wiring from vehicle metering going to panel board. In ground floor, we have room number 13, 1, 2, 3, and 4. To determine the X and Y length, we need to go the layout drawing. So, this is X and this is Y. Back to our format. Our X is 6 meters, our Y is 10 meters. To determine the Z, we need to go in our riser diagram. We have Z1 from vacometer to ground and then Z2 from ground to each panel board. In this example, our Z1 is 1.5 meters, then our Z2 is 3 meters. Then I added 10% spare. This is for the snake factor. After that, you can have a total. Then line wire multiply it by 2 for 2 runs. We have this total. For grounding wire, we have also this total. Then of course, we can also get the length of PVC pipe. So that's it. The cable length measurement from vacometer going to each panel. Next is the cable length measurement from the panel board to each load. With the same procedure, you can now have an accurate cable or wire length. Once done, you can input it in your total length. Now let's take a look in my bill of quantity. So, that's it for the best estimate. Okay, engineers, we will proceed to our third method, the worst case estimate. For this method, whatever is the highest cost from the rough estimate and best estimate, I will add 10% of it. I experienced to use this method of estimate in one of my clients who delayed his payments. As you can see, I have my own comparison of estimate. In this, I can choose which estimate I will submit to my client. Another thing to do for this is, I will investigate why is that the cost of my best estimate is almost more than twice from the rough estimate. Maybe this is due to my material cost, or maybe I can increase the rate per points or per area in my rough estimate. So, whatever the result of it, I can conclude that the cost of this project will not be less than 320,000 pesos. All the methods that I mentioned are only applicable for residential and commercial establishment. For industrial establishment, there are another set of methods. If you are into industrial related projects or any projects, I can also help you on that. You can contact me through this email, jtvaleroelectrical at gmail.com or message me in my Facebook page at Lumina Electrical Design. For further questions, feel free to add comments in this post. If you think this is helpful, 
please do like and share this video. Thanks for watching and God bless.